Hey, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today I'm going to go over something super simple. Uh, how to use gradients with uh, custom color palettes that you make. So first I want to make my color palette. Just add in a couple colors really quick. So I went to settings, dockers, and palette. So I got two colors in there already. So I'm going to add another one and do one more. Cool. So let's say you want to make a gradient with these four colors. To do that, you're going to go to this little icon here, which is your gradients. You're going to see a bunch of uh, preset ones that Creative provides. But we want to make a new one. So if you go down here to add, and you hit this little uh, arrow, you have two options. You can do a stop gradient or a segmented gradient. And I will show you the difference between those in a minute. So I just pick stop. I'm going to make this bigger. So I just have a yellow and a red. Just I just picked a random one from the list. But I don't really want these two colors. I want to use what is in my palette. So if you double click on the red, you can see here this little icon. This is all of your custom, er, not your custom, but all of your palettes that you have available to you. Now I already have my custom one selected. But if I like the Pixel Art 16, you know, those uh, colors, I can go through and pick those colors. If I like the gradient, uh, it's laid out so you can see all the colors with the different values and hues. So it swatches, it's almost like a color wheel. So I'm just going to go back down to my custom one, which is labeled SDGSG, because I was playing with it. So, now that I have that open, I can pick any of these colors to add to my gradient. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to start with the purple, because if you don't know by now, it's my favorite color. I'm going to change that yellow to that teal color. So I got a nice soft gradient here. And then by clicking, I can add two more points uh, for colors and for better mixing. So I'm going to click on one of these here in the center. And then I'm going to change that to whatever color I picked here. And then I'm going to take this one and change that to the bright blue. So now you can see all these different colors. Now what if you pick a color that you don't have in your palette already? So right now there isn't a way to drag and drop or to save that color. However, you can still but you still have a workaround, and this is the color name here. This is technically called a hex code, and it's used in pretty much every everything, anything you can think of that deals deals with colors. So you can just highlight that and hit Control C or right click and copy, hit OK, and then you can close your gradient window because right now you can't have uh, have more than one window active. And you're gonna double. You're gonna Sorry, <laughs> we're gonna add a new color, but instead of hitting OK for that same color I had before, I'm gonna click on that little bar, and I'm gonna paste that hex code here, hit OK, and I've had that I have that color now. So this kind of gives you more flexibility with your gradients and your color management, especially because when you're making gradients, you might be making it up on the fly. You might not be using something in your palette already, but let's go ahead and edit that one bigger but you know if you're adding in another little uh, color selector thing there you're like yeah I'll just mess with it and you come across this type of green in the this section here and you want to save that now you can all right so now that we went over how to make a gradient with the color palette I'm going to go over doing the same thing with the segmented uh, gradient tool so what this means is this is one segment here on my screen and I want to split that. So here, if I click on the black, I can choose a blue for the left side over here. And on the right, I can do purple. So right here, I have the right and the left. So I can make that smoother or not. You know, I can add as many segments as I want. And I can go over to this segment and I can do the same. Do a teal and then do a different blue. And as you can see, I'm using my color palette that I made. 
I can use the the hex codes here to save those colors if I pick something different to my color palette. And I kind of forgot to say this, but I can also color pick something that's already on my canvas. Let me cancel this and I'll show you. So we'll just make... We'll make a... Oh, we'll do a pink. There we go. <clears throat> So we want uh, this white to be pink, so we can select that, and there you go. Pretty simple. So that's pretty much it for using your color palette with your gradient tool. It's, I mean, there are a few clicks to it, but it's nothing like, you know, have to jump through hoops to get to anything. It, it's very manageable. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I do have my support links in the description as well. If you want to throw a couple dollars my way or become a Patreon, usually you get access to the videos earlier than most, as well as other content that I may not release. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.